Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In case you don't know me, I'm Kat and I'm a very average surfer. I've been surfing for around four to five years now. I don't like big waves. You could probably class me as a maybe beginner intermediate surfer. Yeah, we'll go with that. With that in mind, I thought it'd be really nice to share with you my top tips for any beginner surfers out there. Maybe you've had your first surf lesson, maybe it's a new year's resolution to learn to surf, or you're just watching this for the fun of it. Well, stay tuned as I share with you my top tips for any beginner surfers out there. Okay, top tip number one is book yourself some lessons. I'm not just talking one lesson, I'm talking two to three, maybe a weekend away, or maybe a week or two long holiday abroad somewhere. Lessons are so beneficial to surfing. I have had my fair share, and honestly, I could do with some more, to be honest, so if anyone wants to give me a lesson, please do. It is a right learning curve, and as a beginner, you want nothing more than to do some video analysis, maybe some photo analysis, is watch how everyone else is doing it, learn loads of different tips and tricks from your surf instructor and have fun whilst doing it. If you want more of a elite kind of surfing program then definitely check out some surf retreats. A week long holiday maybe to Portugal is just what you need. Tip number two is hire out a big board. I'm not talking about a giant long board but in general if you've got a bigger board it's going to mean that the length is longer, you're going to paddle faster, into the wave, the width is going to give you more stability and the volume is more buoyancy. Now all of this together means you're going to catch more waves, you're going to have more fun, it's going to be easier and you'll just feel like you're progressing a lot quicker than if you go on a short board, you're all over the place, you're really wobbly. I would recommend maybe a 7.6 up to an 8 foot. I'm no surf instructor, but I have got an eight foot. That's what I was recommended and I absolutely love it. Number three then is when you're in the water, paddle, 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 and then paddle them extra few more when you're catching the wave. I guarantee your surf instructor is gonna nail this in your head, so I'm doing exactly the same. What I mean by this then is when you're paddling and you can feel the wave coming, it pushes on the back of your board, just do them extra couple of paddles to make sure you really have got on that wave. Sometimes even when we're out back, I get lazy, I don't put in the paddles, and what happens? The wave just goes straight under me because I haven't caught to the same speed. Just put in them a few extra paddles to really make sure that you're on the wave. <laughs> Having just eaten a couple of Oreos with my cup of tea, the fourth one is to exercise and practice your dry land pop-ups. Exercising could mean swimming for some cardio or maybe doing some strength exercises for your shoulders Honestly, once you've had that first surf lesson, I guarantee you'll be having aches in muscles you really didn't know existed. If you didn't, then maybe you weren't surfing hard enough or you're just Mr. Superhuman anyway. But honestly, I was so tired after my first surf lesson that I really wish I had done a little bit more cardio and worked on my shoulder strength. Within that, dry land pop-ups. Now, these are just a perfect to do if you think it's gonna be a while since you get into the sea. Just practice your pop-ups at the gym or on the floor, in your house, wherever you fancy it. Just to make sure that you really are nailing that pop-up ready for the time you get back on a board and in the ocean. Tip number five is don't look down. I know you'll want to pop up and you want to make sure that your feet are in the right position and whatnot, but really what's going to happen is the weight is going to go forward, you're going to go in, your nose is going to go right in the sea and you're going to have a nose dive or you're going to feel unstable and it's just going to be a bit of a mess. When you're paddling and you're getting up onto that wave, just make sure you're focused on something that is ahead of you and not below. And number six is be prepared to learn slowly. Surfing is definitely the hardest sport that I have ever picked up. It's not like you can just put on your running shoes and go for a run and a quick jog around the park. There is a lot to it and if you can't get to the beach regularly then it really is hard to progress. So just be patient, just be prepared that you might have some days where you feel pretty crap that you've had a really rubbish surf but it will pay off. You might get that one wave and think yes that was perfect, I really am nailing it. You'll love it, it just takes time and I just want to make sure that you know what you're all getting yourself into. And that is my last tip I have got. I could share with you so many more, but they're really my key ones. Other than do not forget to cover your head if you do wipe out, you don't want any cuts and bruises. But that is my surf tips 
for beginners. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and leave a comment below. Let me know if you've got any other little tips you wanna share with people. Thank you for watching. See you again in another video. Bye-bye. Big beginner, I've... I have had my fair share fair share maybe you're looking to surf even my second top tip is my second top tip is bit